Hello friends, I'm Kendra Winchester and welcome back to my channel. I have set my computer, I have my list, I have the books that I own that are most anticipated, so we are going to jump right in and talk about my most anticipated releases for March and April. Now these are the ones that I have found in my research. If there are ones I'm missing that you're really looking forward to, please let me know because I am really looking forward to all of these books, but I'm always looking for more. So yes, you can help me out. Greatly appreciate it. So we're going to start with March 7th and the books that came out on Tuesday that uh, I'm really looking forward to slash have read already. So yeah, just to start. Go off on me, right? So first book, um, this is one of my favorite novels this year. This is All Grown Up by uh, Jamie Attenberg. And Jamie Attenberg has written several novels before, but everything that I've heard says that this is her best one. And I've only read this one of hers and it is indeed fantastic. Look, it is just 200 pages-ish and it is about a woman who is coming of age in her late 30s and early 40s and it really delves into the expectations for women about, you know, finding a guy, getting married, and having kids. And it really talks about, you know, the women who don't necessarily follow that example. And it just is really moving, really funny, and definitely worth your time. And it is one of those one sitting books, by the way. So if you have the opportunity, you'll definitely want to set aside some time and read this all at once. Also came out on March 7th. Uh, this is my book of the month pick, as you can tell. Um, but this is Exit West by Mohsin Hamid. And this is about Saeed and Nadia and they fall in love in an, uh, an unnamed city in the Middle East and there's like a civil war and they exit west. So there are these doors that open upon a different location in the world and those locations actually follow um, a refugee path that um, I guess in our universe that people take and it's just a really moving book. Um, it's only 225 pages um, as out from Riverhead. Oh my goodness, this book I read in one day. I had I would take breaks. I would read uh, about a third of the book and then I would take a break. But I got it yesterday and I finished it yesterday. It is just that amazing and it really delves into a lot of stuff that uh, Westerners or politically uh, secure countries kind of take for granted and it was an excellent refugee story and I think definitely in the climate that we have in America at the moment yes just I have no words just read it please <laughs> it's really good next is The Lucky Ones by Julianne Pacheco and I would love to tell you that I know all about this book but I do not uh, this is her Spiegel and Growl and I picked this up primarily because I saw that Rowan Hesseo Buchanan she said that she was reading it in an interview we did with her on The Reading Woman and yeah I wanted to pick it up. So I discovered later that this is a book about some friends and uh, the friends of those friends and the people in their lives. I think this then might be a multi-perspective type narrative. I'm not sure, but it's only about 250 pages. It's not that long. Beautiful little size. Uh, size. I've already seen, I believe, the author's a UK author. So this is already out in the UK, I believe. So yes, that is the lucky ones. Next is a fantastic novel that you guys definitely need to be picking up. So this is Rabbit Cake by Annie Hartnett and this is from Tin House. This is about Elvis, a young girl who's living with her sister Lizzie and her mom and dad. Uh, Elvis's mom sleepwalks and she ends up sleepwalking into a river and then drowning and it talks about did that actually happen and also Elvis's grief and how she deals with that and the family uh, dynamic kind of aftermath. Um, but it's also really funny. I read the first few chapters and yes, really funny. <laughs> this is Celine by Peter Heller and Celine is a uh, guest private detective type person. She finds missing persons and she has a better record than the FBI, so says the blurb. And then a woman comes to her and gives her a case and that case kind of changes her life. Um, this is no longer the cover, I believe. I believe they changed it. So I'm going to put the cover over here and then you can see what it actually looks like now and then you can go and find it and read it because it just looks really interesting, doesn't it? I think so. Next up is The Stranger in the Woods, The Extraordinary Story of the Last True Hermit by Michael Finkel and you will probably already know that Liberty Hardy has raved about this book on all the channels and so you probably actually already know what it's about but I will tell you for those who haven't heard. This is about a guy who drives off into the woods when he's around 20 and he lives in the woods in Maine for 27 years. 
and it just talks about this story about this guy who would go and he would um, invade empty homes because they're like secondary houses up there and he lived through winters and all this stuff. Um, my family comes from Appalachia so I'm always into books about people randomly living in the woods and we need more stories about you know just rural communities and different things like that and so I'm really interested about this book. I'm all about books with trees. And this is something, this is a story I've never really heard about before, so I'm really interested in reading this book. So another book that's coming out is Ill Will by Dan Chown. Chown? Please help me. I greatly appreciate it. And this is about a uh, psychiatrist, psychologist? I'm not sure. Um, but his adoptive brother murdered a bunch of his family and so his adopted brother Rusty is getting out of prison and so it's how the protagonist deals with that and there's also some drama with some of his patients. I've just heard so much about this author and I've seen this book on so many best of lists so it's just something I really want to have on my reader. I have it on my Kindle, I haven't read it yet, but I think it would probably be really good and I'm really interested to see what Dan Chown has to offer. So coming out on March 14th is The Wanderers by Meg Howery and this is from Putnam and this book is kind of marketed as The Martian meets Station Eleven. So uh, everyone who I've seen review this book already has said that's pretty accurate. Also that cover, that cover, oh my goodness. And that's really all I need to know about the book. So that's what I'm going on and um, hopefully I will get a copy soon and be able to... I actually do have a copy on my Kindle, but anyway, I want to show you a physical copy, but it's not here yet. Anyway, point being, I really am looking forward to this book. I think it'll be really fun and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it is. We'll do a little happy book dance there. Uh, next book um, on Mar that's coming out on March 14th is The Idiot by Alif Bateman. Please help me, as again, I really appreciate when you guys help me learn how to pronounce things. That's very helpful because I've never actually said any of these things out loud. Anyway, so this story is about the daughter of Turkish immigrants and she goes to Harvard. And I believe the author is also a daughter of Turkish immigrants. So I've never heard this kind of coming of age story. And I think it'll be really interesting. Um, this is published by Penguin Press and they always have really like nice, nice novels. like. They published Davy Smith. Do I need to say more? I guess not. Jumping to March 28th, we have uh, The Women in the Castle by Jessica Shaddock. And this is about three German women living in a castle and it's supposed to look into the lives of three ordinary German women during World War II and giving that perspective of the war, which we don't hear a lot about. And this is from William Morrow and this is one of their big title releases of um, this part of the year. So I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I think it will, as I said, I think an earlier video, it would be great to pair with We Were the Lucky Ones. Um, this copy is just so beautiful. It has like deckled edges and dust apparently and French flaps and a textured cover and just it's so beautiful. And this is just the advanced reader's edition. So yes. So on March 28th as well, we have uh, the 12 lives of Samuel Hawley. And Samuel Hawley and his daughter have been on the run and so they finally settle back in his hometown and he gets a job as a fisherman. And it's part literary thriller, part coming of age novel, and he has like 12 scars which is where the names comes from and it's supposed to be like his shady past kind of thing. I saw Liberty, Hardy, and Celeste Ng, the author of Everything I Never Told You, talk about this book on Twitter and they pretty much sold it to me. I, I didn't even say anything. I just saw the conversation and I was like, okay, that one's going on my list. Thank you very much. So I would also encourage you to go and uh, put this book on your TBR. April. April, I, I have not found a lot of books that I'm really interested in reading that are coming out in April. Please tell me some that are coming out in April. I would greatly appreciate it. I do spend a lot of time looking for books. So the fact that I haven't found anything, I feel, I think that says something. <laughs> if I find any, um, I will let you know either in like another haul or video or something and I'll just give you an update about maybe titles you want to put on your radar. You could also check out the Reading Women newsletter, which is very up to date as far as the new releases that you'll want to look out for. I do three releases from every week. So each newsletter is bi-weekly, so there's like six in there. Anyway, you don't care about math. Point being that I would say that is the most up-to-date location. If you want to go find those, um, I will put a link for that down below. But the one that I want to point out is Sunshine State Essays by Sarah Girard. And this book 
is basically about Florida because Florida is the sunshine, sunshine state and uh, my mom's family, much of it is from Florida. I really am looking forward to reading this book. I think we need more Southern authors, especially considering that we're just finally, I think, slowly moving out of the regional author label for Southern writers. Um, that we just need more beautiful, beautiful writing from Southern, Southern women especially. So I'm really looking forward to that one. So if you have heard about any of these books, especially here at the end where I don't know much about them, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have read any of the books I have mentioned, also please let me know so I can organize my TBR accordingly. And yeah, I guess that's all the ones I am going to talk about today. It really was just mainly, I guess, March, but I did spend um, a couple hours last weekend trying to find more April titles, but I guess I'll hear about them later. But I think I have enough to go on for now, don't you? I think so. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and I guess I'll talk to you later guys. Bye!